Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I hope and pray that all of you are doing okay and are safe in your homes. As we all know, this coronavirus has really took a turn in all of our lives and we are living in a very weird time. I just want to come here and maybe ramble and chat with you guys while you enjoy this time lapse of my drawing. So this is actually a card design I made for our fellow frontliners since I've been seeing people asking for kids drawings and some of my friends were also encouraging me to do one. Although clearly I am not a kid, I decided why the heck not if it could bring some sort of positivity and brighten someone's day, then that's all that matters. So if you will watch the whole video, there's actually going to be one more design and I created that for a friend who's asking for online donations. And all proceeds will also go to the frontliners. So unfortunately, this isn't going to be a talk-through tutorial of what I'm doing. So if you don't like that, you can click out and maybe watch another video. So, yep. <laughs> I don't really know where this voiceover is gonna go, but I guess I just want to come here and maybe share my thoughts and feelings. Especially, we've been stuck at, ho at home for almost a month now i think I, we're all in the we're already in the three week mark so almost a month there's just so much time to think and reflect about life and how fragile it is it makes you realize how precious life is and how something so small as a virus can have such a big 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 impact in the whole world it is very scary, it's, we're living in crazy times. Plus, we're battling with something we can't even see. But I do want to remind you guys that God is bigger than this virus. I believe we will get through this and this too shall pass. So I'm just spreading positivity and I hope you guys hang tight and stay strong. And maybe a lot of you guys already know since based from my previous video I posted, I was speaking in Tagalog there. So I am from the Philippines and we are currently an enhanced community quarantine. So to be honest, I think they might extend the ECQ basing from the number of cases each day. But of course, hoping for the best and I do hope that things will settle down. And our government uh, is just really a mess currently. I don't even want to talk about the negative things and all the details here, but of course people have different opinions about these matter, and I do hope that everything will just work out in the end. Social media is just full of hate and bad news right now, and I do understand where all the anger is coming from, and it is really frustrating if you, if you would take time to read about the events happening here in our country. It is really, really frustrating. But again, let's all try to stay positive and just pray for the best. And speaking of quarantine, being stuck at home is also a challenge. I know we should all be grateful we have a home to stay and I am super duper grateful that I have a home, I'm with my family and I'm safe. But of course, I'm just being real, it's really hard to be productive at home. I'm, I'm really blessed that I have a work that allows me to work from home since I am a full-time graphic designer, you just practically need a good Wi-Fi and a good computer or in my case I have my laptop so I'm able to work from home and I do teach part-time in Ateneo but that was also put on hold since online classes are suspended so my point here is working at home is hard 
At first, I thought I was going to be fine since I did have a solid year to a year and a half of working as a full-time freelancer, so I am used to working at home. But it's really different if you're working for maybe for a different company or if you're not working for your own. You just don't really have control over the tasks they give you and sometimes I just have to be honest, the things they ask me to do, even though if it's graphic design related, it's just really not fun or it's not something I want to do compared to doing freelance wherein I have the full control over the projects I want to accept and most of the time I do enjoy those. But again, I'm still beyond thankful that I have a job. But how about you guys? Have you been struggling to be productive as well? I've talked to some of my friends and they are experiencing the same thing. Even my brother. Being at home just has so many distractions like my bed, Netflix, YouTube. It's harder to be disciplined, disciplined, especially if you know you're not being watched by your boss, or you know if you have so many, so much freedom to do whatever you want. But I do try to stick to a routine, and I'm training myself to work far from my bed, so I won't get tempted to just lie down all day. Plus, being stuck at home also has allowed me to work out more. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Since I do feel guilty if I just sit around all day and eat all day, that's the perfect combination to gain weight. So I really do try my best to stay active even at home. And okay, by the way, this is totally off topic, but it just totally came in my mind but i envy those people that have animal crossing at first i wasn't really a fan and mind you i've never owned a nintendo console before so i've never really played the game but my brother and boyfriend has a switch and they've been showing me all the cute and fun things you can do in the game and now i want my own too especially during this quarantine time where i do have of course, I do have work, but I also have free time, and I want to play it so bad. But of course, I don't want to borrow my brother's console since he has his own character and own account, and we can't really share it since he's also playing. But the point is, I want a Switch now. And I do know that they came out with the Animal Crossing theme um, Switch, but I don't think I'll, I need the full... Um, a full version of it like with the dock and the removable controllers i'm actually leaning towards the nintendo switch Lite since they also just released the coral pink version which i think is so adorable but sad to say they it's not yet available here in the philippines i think and since we do have the quarantine practically all the stores are closed so i won't be able to buy a switch even if i want to but i guess uh, i think that's everything that i just want to say <laughs> okay this voiceover is just really over the place and really random but again i do hope every one of you is safe and let's do our best to stay home social distance and this is really the best thing that we can do to help our frontliners and of course if you do have extra cash or you want to donate um, let's also do that in order to help uh, our heroes who are fighting and risking their lives each day so again thank you for watching and yeah till my next video so bye